Good morning, friends. Um, yeah, I look horrible, I know. I wasn't going to start vlogging yet until later, but I just got home dropping off the kids from school and I started to make myself breakfast. And I look at the microwave and Derek left me a note. And it says, good luck today thinking of you. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, and I don't know how my eye caught it, but I looked up at the right, because I had been in the kitchen for a little while and I didn't notice it right off the bat and I just noticed it and that's so cute. Then I came into my bedroom and came into the bathroom and I see this. It says, you're amazing and I love you. <laughs> and a funny, too personal to show you there. Then I look over on my mirror and it says, I love you. And so I just wonder if there's anything else hidden that I don't see, but that just made my morning. And I have to tell you that I was, when I got back from dropping the kids off at school, I was really kind of sad that Derek didn't stay home. He really wanted to after such a crazy day yesterday at work, but he couldn't. And uh, <laughs> so I was like, darn it. But I have to go to the ortho today for 10.30. I was like, ah, oh, maybe I won't start vlogging till after I get back. But I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta show you guys this. But I just found that and that is just so sweet. Oh my gosh. So my breakfast today is so fancy. It's buttered toast and one slice is buttered and one slice is peanut butter. Okay, I got this Jif. I love Jif. Oh my gosh. I love it. I could seriously just sit with a spoon and eat it. Uh, I got this during a K-Slot sale. They actually put Jif in the K-Slot sale, the same price as the store brand. I was like, yeah, you're coming with me. Uh, and my local Kroger Smiths had a case lot sale like two weeks ago and I missed it. Like I was just so busy that I never got down there because I need peanut butter. We go through peanut butter so fast. So I'm going to have to wait for the next case lot sale. So when the next case lot sale happens, it'll be kind of a big haul because I'm running low on a lot and I meant to go to this last one and I just didn't plan it well. I didn't put it in my planner. If I had put it in my planner, I would have remembered and gone, but oh well. So, there will be a K-Slot video in the near future. They do K-Slot sales here like every quarter. Seems like every three months, so there's one coming up. Okay, I'm going to eat my toast. I love butter toast, and I love peanut butter on toast. What do you guys like on toast? Okay, it is pouring here still, you guys. Pouring. Rain, rain. And I put my co I washed out my Costco bag and I put it out there two days ago to dry. And I forgot I left it there and now it's getting soaked. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have to go get it and let it dry in the garage, wipe it out really good so it doesn't get moldy. But it is raining and it almost looks like some snow, but oh gosh, you guys. April showers bring me flowers, right? But I'm over it. I'm over it. Oh, let me show you what I got at Walmart. And then I gotta let you go because I gotta get ready for the orthodontist. So I got these three signs at Walmart. I'm gonna see how I can make them look good up above here. If not, then I can bring them back. But have you guys seen these at Walmart? These like translucent signs. So this one says Farmer's Market and has the pig. And then this one is the cow creamery and then, then this one is also the farmer's market with the chicken so it would have to be the cow in the middle and the pig and the chicken on the ends so I was just gonna see if I can get them to work up here and if not I'll bring them back but I thought I'd try Woo! well I had a very successful visit at the ortho the little dot that I had over here in the corner of my mouth, he took like this weird, like, looks like a spinning saw and went right up there and then tied like my teeth to pull together. And so it, there's still a little dot that it's going to close up and it'll look a lot better. There'll still be a teeny dot, but not as big as what was there. 
so I was like sweet but they're looking so good um, I see him in two weeks and then in that two week appointment he will set up when I'm getting my braces off <gasps> so May May you guys braces are off I'm so excited well I am in the parking lot of Shirley's bakery here in Provo never been here before uh, and I'm meeting Denise for lunch. I um, boxered her and texted her. I'm like, where are you? Oh, there she is. I'm like, are you out and about? And she goes, I'm in Provo. And I'm like, so am I. So we're meeting up for lunch and it is cold and rainy. So we're gonna have a bread bowl. So awesome. Okay, let's lunch. Target's far from where I live. So, but the way I was coming home after lunch with Denise, I was driving by Target and I was like, <laughs> yeah, I made a little detour and came into Target. And I have to tell you, I love their aprons. Look how stinking cute this is. <gasps> and look at this one. Isn't that adorable? Did you guys know that my first apron that I ever got that started this whole addiction and this whole thing we got going here was from Target? about 11 years ago did you guys know that yeah i found it here at target and i think these are so cute look at all these aprons oh i really like this one i really don't need more aprons but they're just cute oh this one looks like a dress i mean seriously mm. oh 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 look 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 and they have a matching so cute. I'm, I'm gonna walk away or tear myself away because I don't need any more but just so you know my first apron came from Target okay guys it is six o'clock and I have been going through my file cabinet making a big mess um, I've already gone through a lot of my papers and shredded a lot before but today I've been sitting down going through more files shredded more and it feels good I'm excited to get this office completely organized look at that I was rubbing my eye while editing the vlog I was sitting here editing the first half I rubbed my eye <laughs> looks like I have a black eye um no but my office is a work in progress so you saw a video that I did for a motivational Monday months ago where I was really going through stuff now I am like even going more through our stuff I'm really trying to get rid of things that we don't need um, just letting it go and so it's been incredible so um, Derek and I have plans for the office and that's what we're working on I'm not going to show you it until it's all done but I'm really excited the direction that it's going in so I am learning to let go of things and it is feeling really really good like really good so okay mm. so for dinner I was gonna do Navajo tacos but um, I didn't take out the scones this morning because then they would have really have like risen and in time for me to make them so I thought I was gonna come home right after the ortho appointment that I was gonna take out the scones but I ended up Going to lunch, going to oh, wow, going to lunch, going to Target, um, and then when I got home from taking the kids home from school and came into the office, I started editing and just going through the drawer. And time has now passed; it's six o'clock. We're just gonna say screw it tonight. Derek's picking up a pizza. Uh, I'm I am gonna go visiting teaching in about thirty minutes. Um, that's when I visit. Um, I'm assigned certain sisters in our church our ward um, we visit them to see if they have any needs and visit and just have fun and just to get to know you more and just a fellowship and so 
I have that at 6.30. And then honestly, I just want to go lay in bed with Derek. We found this new show that so far is hysterical um, on Netflix. And so I really just want to chill with him. And yeah, and the kids are all being good and quiet. And so it's like, I'm just getting stuff done right now. It feels good. Okay, what I am going to share with you right now is is a is it a Pinterest fail or maybe uh, this weekend I made a hamburger helper type of recipe I found it on Pinterest this lady's recipe I'll have her blog everything down below it's a good hamburger helper recipe I mean it was okay the kids they ate it but there is there's something missing there it needs a little more kick so I'm going to share with you the pen and I'm going to share with you the recipe that I made up this weekend and then you tell me what should I do to it do you add something different and cause it's supposed to be a healthier hamburger helper like the boxes that you can get in the store hamburger helper so I'm going to share with you this recipe and then you tell me what does this need okay here we go okay this pen is from the countryside cravings .com. The ingredients that you're going to need is a pound of lean ground beef, one small onion finely chopped, a teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon dried parsley, one teaspoon garlic powder, pinch to one and a half teaspoon of cayenne powder, salt and pepper to taste, and then you're going to need one and a half cups of milk, one and a half cups of beef broth, two cups of uncooked macaroni, I used elbow, one eight ounce can of tomato sauce, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese and here you see that I have chili powder I thought the recipe said chili powder I even put in like a half a teaspoon in on accident so but it was good I mean the flavor was great in it but um, but the chili powder is not part of the recipe so okay in a large skillet over medium heat you're going to brown up the ground beef with the onion and all the spices and the recipe says that if you're going to use a ground beef with a higher fat content to add in the seasonings after you drain the grease. I think that's wise. Then you're going to stir in the milk, broth, the macaroni, and the tomato sauce. Bring it to a boil, cover with a lid, and then reduce the heat to a simmer. Cook for about 10 to 12 minutes or until pasta is tender, and then stir occasionally to prevent sticking. And when that is ready, stir in the cheddar cheese until it melts, and there you have it. Um, she does leave notes that saying if you're gonna use a whole wheat macaroni, you may need to add in more liquid while cooking. So, what I have noticed, this was good, but it was still just a little bland to me. It needed a little more kick. I don't know, I thought maybe instead of using the garlic powder to actually use fresh garlic, and I was even thinking of adding some green peppers. If you know a good recipe, leave it down below. I think this is a great starter recipe. Would I call it a Pinterest fail? Um, I would say it may be a fail on the flavors, but all you have to do is just add one or two ingredients and, you know, in my eyes it would be great. I think Melinda, who created this recipe at the Countryside Cravings website, did a really good job. I just needed more oomph in it for me, but you guys might absolutely think it's perfect the way that it is. So give me some suggestions and tips of what I should add in. Like I said, I think maybe some green peppers next time and some fresh garlic. But leave your suggestions down below and I will make it again and share it with you. Okay guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Hope you're doing awesome and we will see you soon. Bye.